Claire Carr. Thank you, Mr Chair. Well, um, there's certainly a, 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 I will do my best to be more obedient than the speaker before me in addressing my, my comments to um, part one of this bill. Um, and there are several parts to this bill. Clearly, the changes being made to part two um, have the most significance, but part one is important. What I, I, I also would you know, with your lenience, Mr Chair, be like to, um, to go back a little bit in time in the history of this bill because it's of deep importance to the House given the extensive nature of the SOP that was introduced um, 24 hours ago or less uh, after, as I understand it, first going through the Cabinet in August last year. Uh, and this is uh, something I would like um, the Minister, when he gets again to his feet, as I'm sure he will during the process of this discussion, would, would like to give us a little bit of information about exactly what the consultation has involved with the industry um, around the impact of his SOPs, uh, the, all of the uh, measures contained within the SOP, including the measures that relate to part one, but in particularly the measures that relate to the retentions, which is, um, uh, and with your lenience, Mr Chair, I'll refer to the SOP of my colleague. I won't talk about the substance of it um, because I know that we will certainly be having a, um, a, a wider discussion about that later on. Uh, now, Mr Chair, the thing is, though, that, that we, this, this bill went through an extensive select committee process back in 2013, I think, um, and it was um, 31 written submissions and we heard 22 submissions at that time. Almost without fail, every submitter that came through the select committee raised the issue uh, of retentions and of the issue of the collapses that was happening in the construction industry and, and the impact of that that it was having on the construction industry. They spoke very uh, lucidly about all of the other measures that were being proposed in the bill, the measures that are contained in part one around the definitions of um, construction, around the process of complaints, um, uh, de definitions of construction sites, the, um, the operations that are critical for the completion of and preparatory to the scope of design, engineering and quantity surveying work. That's one of the amendments in part Part one, Mr Chair, just making sure that you know that I am addressing my comments uh, to the part, um, that these things were, were addressed, um, but without fail, almost every one of them, the, the, the real substance of their submissions to us were around what was a glaring gap in the bill. And the, uh, and, you know, just to back up my colleague Clayton Crosgove, despite being told that he's rewriting history, this issue was ignored. It was ignored. And it was ignored by this side of the House right up until the very last minute when we were told, oh, no, there couldn't be an inclusion in this bill of, of, issue, of uh, remedies for the, um, uh, the retentions and the monies that were being lost by subcontractors um, when there was a collapse. We couldn't include that information uh, and that would have to be a separate item. But that, as a result, this bill has now sat and languished um, uh, while another process was happening behind the scenes. And as I have discovered, Mr Chair, there was, a, um, as I understand it, and I would like the Minister to give us some clarification around this, that there was a, um, a, cabinet put to, uh, a paper put to Cabinet in August by the Minister in the Chair today, Dr Nick Smith, um, clarifying a, a set of proposals around this. Now, my concern is, with, the, with any legislation that comes through this House, where there is a substantial last-minute change that hasn't had gone through the benefit of a select committee process, where there hasn't been any public consultation, um, is that it's going to be bad law. 
And uh, we know that there are, have been other SOPs um, put up in, during the course of this bill. Uh, we will be debating them in part two. Um, but the, the, it's, what is the, uh, has the process been for consultation? Simon O'Connor. Thank you, uh, Mr Chair. I think there's been some